hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding configuration of multiple Odoo instance in a single machine so we already have created and shown you how to run multiple Odoo instance in the same machine so for that we have to create configuration file as well as the service file so we have explained that thing in the previous video so if you haven't watched that video you can just go to that video and watch it and come back here so in this video we will discuss regarding the log file so actually when we prepare that video we have forgotten to specify or show you the log file so let's see regarding the log file so currently in the screen you can see I have running Odoo 12 instance in the port 8022 which you can see in this tab and in the next tab you can see I have got another Odoo instance running in 8023 port which is another port so if I restart here you can see here we have got so for that demonstration video we have created two separate database users for the Odoo so in the 8023 it's asking to create a new database so here you can see yet we haven't created any database but in the port 8022 we have got another database that is new so we have given separate database users for the two instance so in this video we will see regarding the log file so if I go to the terminal and if I open here so right now I can see I'm in the path cd slash etc so if I click on ls here you can see all the files inside the corresponding folder that is etc so this is the configuration file that is odooprot.conf and odootest.conf that we have created so if i click open sudo nano odooprot.conf here you can see this is running on the port 8023 and here you can see we have specified the log file inside slash var log odoo and given the path as odoo test dot log so actually we have forgotten to change this name so here we have to change it to i'll just open it once more we have to forget to change the log file so actually the odoo test dot log is the log file that we have given for the odoo test instance so i'll just change the name to odoo prot dot log and i'll just save it so for just saving it you can click on ctrl x click on y and enter so we have saved the log file that is we have changed the log file path to var log odu slash odu prod dot log so there is no need to you have to, there is no necessary for that you have to create a log file it will be created automatically so right now i'll just go to this path that is var log odu and see what's there inside so i'll just open another window here and if i navigate to var so you can see i am already in that path that is slash var log odu so this is the path and if i click on ls here you can see there is nothing inside the corresponding file so let's start the service from here so right now you can see it's running now i'll just stop the odoo prod production service so this is the command to start the service sudo system ctl start odoo prod dot service so instead of start i'll give stop command so click on enter and if you reload the screen it won't be accessible you can see problem loading page that is service has been stopped so let's restart the service now instead of restart i'll use start command itself so start odo production dot service so i'll just reload the page so you can see on starting the service the page the yodo is accessible now if i go to the another window and if i click on ls again you can see still the log file has been not created so actually when you start the in auto instance the log file has to be created but right now it's not created because this is due to the access right or file issue that is permission issue so i have to change the permission of the odo so right now i am running if i go to the cd slash system empty i'll just click on ls cd i have to navigate the path where we have created the config uh, service files and if I click on ls, here you can see Odoo production dot service. So if I open that file, that service file, sudo nano Odoo production dot service, here you can see the user that running the instance is this. So I have to give the permission for this user. So I'll just control Z and I'll come here. So I have to change the file permission for this folder. So for that I will use if I click on I have already entered that command so here you can see sudo ch on specify the username colon root slash var log odoo 
I'll just click on enter and if I click on ls here you can see right now inside the log file or var log podu it's empty so let's come back to this window and stop the service once more so I'll just click on I'll go back to the etc path cd slash etc and I'll just stop the podu production dot service so here we have got the command to stop the service so if I reload the screen you can see it has been stopped and I will start it again so on starting the service I'm saying the log file will generate automatically as all the permission has been granted so let's see so I'll just take the uh, so this is the command to start the Odoo test production service so click on enter so that's done now we will go to the this tab so here we have got we are inside cd slash var log odoo and i'll just click on ls and here you can see odoo prod dot log has been generated automatically which we have specified inside the configuration file so to see the contents inside the this file that is this log file so dot tail minus f odoo prod dot log so here you can see the log files that odoo version 12 is running configuration file path like that you can see so right now if i click on if i reload this one here you can see the changes has been getting displayed here so this is the log file of the odoo production instance so if you have got any error sometimes many people are asking suppose if you got some 500 internal server or something like that what you have to do is that you have to check the log file so to know the log file what you have to do is that you have to go to your configuration file and inside the configuration file sudo nano odoo put your conf in the inside the configuration file you will have the log file so just go to your log file and see what's there inside the log file so definitely if you check the log file you will get the hint regarding the error suppose if you have got a 500 internal server error, there will be no hint regarding error in the ui but you can just go to the log file and see what's there inside the log file so you can see once we granted the permission for the corresponding user the log file has been generated automatically so let's see the same for the next instance that is odoo test instance so here i'll just control z now i will stop the odoo test instance so reloaded so right now the service is running now for i will go to the terminal and i will stop the instance and restart it so sudo nano odoo test sorry i have to go to sudo system stop instead of production test load service so i have stopped the service running on a022 you can see unable to connect and i will restart this one so before that i'll just control z from here and click on ls you can see right now we have got only odoo production dot log inside the log file and on starting this one instead of stop i'll give start here so once i start the service a log file will be generated automatically here so i'll just click on enter and if i click on ls here you can see odoo test one dot log has been generated successfully so this will be the file name that i will that i have specified inside the configuration file so let's see sudo nano odoo test dot conf here you can see the name is given as odoo test one dot log so on the corresponding path the log file has been generated so i'll just open the log file sudo tail so opening you have to give sudo tail minus f odoo test one dot log so inside that you can see running on 8022 so let's open the db and see the changes you can see the changes so if i reload the screen and if i take the tab you can see it's getting updated and if i log into the database i will enter my password still you will see those changes coming here you can see all the modules are logging yeah right now we have got error some missing dependency issue and if you do something here or if you get some error here it will be displayed inside the log file so that's all about this so what you have to do is that in the configuration file we will specify the log files like slash var log 
போதும் and you have to give the folder permission to the corresponding user who runs the odoo so to get the user you have to go to the service file that we have created cd so if i click on ls we placed system ls and sudo nano odoo production product service here you can see the user that run running this service so you have to give the user permission to access the log folder so for that what i have done is i'll come here control z what i have done is to change change permission sudo ch on specify your name username colon root and give the path permission to the corresponding folder so once you done this and restart the service the log file will be generated automatically from where you will get all the logs regarding your odoo instance so if you get some errors during or some error in the screen you can just go to the log file and see what's there inside the log file so that's all about this video and if you have any doubts or queries regarding any odoo development or this video you can just comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos thank you